Donald Trump quickly regretted making this massive blunder at his rally today. So we're gonna go over what that massive blunder was, but first, let's take a look at some of the other crazy moments from his rally today. All up the app and they ask, where do we drop the illegals? And people are on the other side, and they left that. She actually created an app, a phone system, where they can call up. I mean, she's a criminal. She's a criminal. She really is, if you think about it. So now we, they took him in through probation. So I assume they assume they're like prisoners or something, and therefore they're legal. They brought in 32,000 people into a community of 50, a community that was a nice community. And now if you want to go to the hospital, you can't get in. Your children can't get into school. And what they're doing is looking, the mayor is a very nice man. I mean, I think he's nice. He's trying to be nice. He's looking for interpreters because they don't speak the language of you and you and everybody in this room. It's a totally different language. So they're looking for interpreters. And he's acting like, yes, we're having a hard time hiring interpreters. This community was hit with 32,000 illegal migrants. They have to go back to where they came from. I'm sorry. Springfield, Ohio. But think of this. So CBS gets a license, and the license is based on honesty. I think they have to take their license away. I do. Your community will no longer live in fear. You will once again have a protector in the White House. I'm going to be a protector. You know, I, I said, I think we're doing very well with women. We're doing great in the polls. We're winning in all of the polls, just about. But somebody said, women love my policy, but they don't like me. I think they do like me. I'll tell you what. So. So they said, and I said a week ago, I said, I think women like me because I will be your protector. And I protected you for four years. We had no wars. We had no terrorism. We had none of these things that you're seeing today at levels that nobody in the world is experiencing. And I said, I will be your protector. They said, who the hell is he to think? But the women didn't say that. The women want protection. They don't want to have these people pouring into their house. And you know where else I protect you? Where, I'm tr where I protect you very well. I knocked out ISIS, as you know. They've been playing with ISIS for 20 years. I did it in one month. On day one of the Trump Organization, the Trump Organization, when I founded it, it was nice, but now it's great. But I want to get back to the Trump administration because the Trump administration is going to do things, is going to do things like has really never been done. We're going to clean this thing out. The good thing about this four-year period, it's a horrible period. It's a shame it happened. It should have never happened. It shouldn't have happened. But they've done so badly that we'll be able to do it and we'll be able to do it with cheers because people see how bad it is and how bad it's been run. And that's why there's far more enthusiasm for this move, the greatest movement ever. It's this. And by the way, if it wasn't, the fake news would be headlines. Donald Trump lied. So now that we've seen some of the crazy moments from his rally, let's take a look at this massive blunder that he made. So Donald Trump made a statement that was just completely false, and we have proof that it was indeed false. So let's hear the statement that he made, and then we'll go into the proof that proves that this was just a lie. Who has no clue what the hell is going on, I have to tell you. Did you see where she did a town hall yesterday and she used a teleprompter? I never saw a town. They ne you don't use teleprompters. We don't use teleprompters, period, pretty much. You don't use them for town halls. Yeah, he was claiming that Kamala Harris was using a teleprompter at her town hall yesterday. But this, of course, is just not true. What they are referencing is this video showing Kamala Harris speak with a teleprompter in front of her. But the teleprompter is not displaying anything for Kamala Harris. This was for the previous speaker. And at the very end of this clip, the teleprompter just turns off. So take a look at this. Victim of crime. Are you a Republican? Are you a Democrat? The only question I ever ask is, are you okay? 
And sadly, we have seen over the last two weeks since Hurricane Helene. Now, some Trump supporters may try to argue that, oh, it's too blurry to tell what's on there, and oh, how can we trust that this was from the previous speaker? Well, it turns out that the speaker himself confirmed that this was the prompter that he used for his own speech. He said on Twitter, quote, the prompter displayed my introduction in Spanish, and then it switched to a timer. Any claim to the contrary is simply untrue. So yeah, Donald Trump was caught lying once again and acting like Kamala Harris can't use a teleprompter for some reason. And it's just so embarrassing how close this race is right now. Like, how can anyone see Donald Trump and think that he is an intelligent man fit for office? If we don't want people who love Trump deciding who will run this country, then we all need to get out and vote this November.